Hey guys, it's Addy Critty Josie, and today I'm making a cool Halloween craft with salt, glue, pencils, paintbrush or dropper squirty thingy, watercolour, cardstock and some water to wash the dropper squirty thingy and the paintbrushes. Let's get started. Since it's Halloween, I'm going to be drawing a cobweb. Now I'm going to do the little loopy bits that I don't that I don't have a name for, so I'm just going to call them loopy bits. And since I'm using glue, I need them to be reasonably far away, not all crammed together, because then the glue will just merge into one big blob. And cobwebs are not one big blob. I think I'm also going to draw a little line here with a spider on the end. Now time to glue it. This bit's a little bit thinner, so I'm just going to top that up. So now I've done all the little lines that go down. I'm to do these little bits. I call loopy bits. Oh, there's a line there. But not all spider webs are perfectly even, so it's fine if there's a tiny space because I'm sure that even spiders make mistakes. If, they, if spiders do not make mistakes, I'm very impressed. And there is the finished drawing covered in glue. It's salt time! Sprinkling the salt onto the glue with my fin fin yeah. fingers but you could use a salt shaker. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkly ling. What? <laughs> what was that? Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Actually, I do think it works better when you kind of shake it like this. That's a bit too much. Um, my advice: don't do that because you use too much and you've got a little bit left that's when you do it like that I haven't got very much in these top areas but I have got quite a bit down here so when I shake it I'm going to shake it in a way that makes all this salt go onto the bits where, isn't, where there isn't very much salt come on salt do your job Okay, now I've got recent, decent coverage. Kind of tap it a bit. So that, ooh, that works too. Ah, now the spider doesn't really look like a spider anymore. Because spider, your legs have disappeared. Hey! Working. Spider's legs have reappeared. Spider's legs have appeared. Reappeared. Quite a bit of excess salt though. Still. So now that we're finished with the glue and the salt, before we can paint it, we need to wait till it dries overnight. So I'll see you then. It's dried for the last couple of days and now we're going to paint it. Isn't that so cool? It's like spreading. Ooh, that's a bit too much. That's so cool. Like it's running. Like somebody's got to be somewhere but they're like sort of zooming off. That's so cool, I love this. It's a really nice purple. And just like the blue, it spreads really fast. It's so fun. And you don't have to do it in a specific order, you can just go wild with the colours. So it's 
all finished and I'm going to wait for it to dry. I'll show you the results. Woo! Now that it's dried, the paint's a bit lighter, so if you want really bright colours, you need really bright paint. I hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe for more videos and bye!